Christy. Yes, sir. Let's talk about this new tool to our shop. Uh, miter box, crosscut saw, chop saw. Yeah. Right? Here everybody call them chop saws. I right. mean, in, in the day that they only had one function. Take us through it. Well, I think people are calling them chop saws because the main mechanism here that you can do is by chopping down and simply just cutting a board straight across it. But also have the ability to rotate the base and do angled cuts if you need to. Uh, trim or baseboard, that's useful. You can also, give me a hand here, this is loose I think. Tilt this if you're doing crown molding, for instance. Okay, that just bottomed out on a 45 degree cut, right? You can get those nice bevel cuts for crown molding. So yep. those are a couple of the main uses for the miter saw in the shop. Let's see if I can get this back. You got it. There we go. Line it up, lock it up. Couple other great uses for a miter saw would be for making the same cut over and over again, right? This little guy is a locking mechanism here, so you can put a piece of scrap wood down and you can keep making that same cut over and over and over without having to remeasure every time. This saw addresses a nice width of, yeah. of, of cutting surface. You can go 11 and a half inch plus on this. Mm -hmm. I mean, this comes with the sliding support wings on it. Right. Uh, so if you're if you're doing something standing, a little taller, right, a little taller, or if you're setting a crown mold in there, and you need that additional height to seat the crown at the angle, so it it, it comes with a, a lot. Uh, not the most expensive saw on the market, uh, but a very versatile saw. I really like this mobile stand too. That way, if you don't have a dedicated shop space for a saw like this. You can move it around, you can even take it out in the driveway and get your project done out there. You know, and that's one of the things we've kind of paid attention to in, in our limited shop here, uh, mobility, mm -hmm. uh, whether it be our workbenches or our table saw has a right. mobile base on it. We can, you know, one person move, move that heavy monster and uh, yeah, great tool. Pretty safe overall. Same basic woodworking principles. You gotta respect the machine. Respect the machine. It has safety features built in. The blade's either in contact with the wood or it's protected mm -hmm. with, the blade is being protected out front here. And uh, common sense, respect the tool, and always know where your hands are at. Yep. What do you think? I agree. Let's make some sawdust. Let's do it. <laughs>